So th this is about appeasing Rosedale people who want to get home fast. Uh, so, and, and, as, and, as, and as part of that, there are only a limited number of roads you can use to get in and out of the downtown core if you're, if you're going north or you're coming south in the morning. One of them is the Don Valley Parkway, the second one is the Bayview Extension, and the third is Jarvis Street. And, and many people use that road uh, to get in and out in, in, in the a.m. and p.m. rush hours. And so outside of, outside of Rosedale, people from surprisingly Scarborough and Don Mills and North York use that road too. And uh, to ease that congestion and to allow the free flow of, of traffic and to try and address some of the issues of, of gridlock and congestion, I think adding another lane is going to, to help with that. But they were saying, your staff was saying it was a two minute delay time once they changed all of the lights. So is it, is it, is it worth it for two minutes of extra travel? I, I, you know, I, I believe that, that, uh, that, that we need to look at streets and try and make traffic move as, as quickly as possible. And at certain points of time during the day, it, you know, traffic can be really bad and it can be exceedingly frustrating. So, so if this council, and if I can do anything to ease that congestion and ease that gridlock, and I think that's looking that that's worth looking at, especially within the context if we we give we give them a great alternative in terms of Sherburn Street that, that cyclists can use, uh, and they're going to be a lot safer. And and also I hope to encourage more cyclists, the ones who who aren't who, who don't commute, who might you know use bring their families downtown now that there's a safe option, who would otherwise not go on public roads because of the number of cars that are there. But well, you, you did but you did encourage cyclists if the number of cyclists on Jarvis tripled to nine hundred in eight hours. You did that already. That but what, what I you no, know, I want to and I want to encourage people to use Sherburn Street and I want to use I want to encourage uh, individuals and families who don't normally travel on roads because they don't have that separation to, to build that up that network to encourage more people to cycle. Councilor Layton suggested in, in his speech that by removing these lanes, you're essentially adding a hazard. You're making it more dangerous to light the limbs which five lanes is quick How would you respond to that? That was something that... I don't agree. How many kilometers of uh, on-road bike lane did you have at the end of uh, last year, and how many will have at the end of this year? People are saying you'll be the first public works chair who's presided over a net drop in the number of on-road bike lane kilometers. Well, we're doing a lot of work, uh, not only in the downtown core, and part of Part of the capacity that we've been able to build is our ability to get things like Wellesley done, and get Adelaide and Richmond done, and and and, and, and working on in the West End, which has been really difficult. So part, that's part of it. I can't answer your question because I don't know. You don't know how many kilometers of bike lanes we'll have by, by the no because if staff, Jarvis, after Jarvis comes out, how many well, bike kilometers so will we part have? Part of it. Let's use the example mm -hmm. of Richmond and Adelaide. Okay, so there's an environmental assessment starting. And you know a real important factor in there is whether we're going to uni do unidirectional or bidirectional, and that could affect how long it would take to build. Because if you build build bi if you build bidirectional, you're going to have to put in signal lights, which could, which could delay that. It sounds like babble gap, babble gap. But you don't know well, how you're many. You're a cyclist, David. You know, know exactly well, what I'm talking about. I think about. the public works now, chair knows how many kilometers of bike lanes there will be at the end of 2012, considering we're in October. So also, we're also building out, and we're we're building out not just in the downtown core, across the city, and I'll get that number for you. Thank you. How much of a success did you call for? This has been a back and forth debate. Sorry, what? How much of a success did you call it after this back and forth? I think it's, a, it's uh, you know, what we were dealing with today was Sherburn, and, it, and, and I consider it a win that we're moving forward with Sherburn, and Sherburn is done. I also think it's a win uh, for everybody that, we, that hopefully we're finally putting to rest Jarvis Street. What's but the the thing will be the end of Jarvis Street? Um, well, I heard some not likely in the background. You know, there, you know, there are some folks that, you know, they're, 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 they can be dogs with bones and not wanting to give up that bone, and they might want to continue. And you know what? They're, I can't stop them from doing that. We're moving forward with what we think is right, and uh, council's made its decision, and for the present time, that decision stands. Well, you, you, you you've, shown, you've shown a commitment. You've shown a commitment to building uh, cycling infrastructure on other streets. How much of this was, was giving the mayor something and saying uh, that if you remove this lane, he would let you pursue other projects in other places? Uh, you know, I, I think there's a give and take in terms of putting together uh, a cycling network. Um, I can tell you that at, uh, at the begin beginning of this term, uh, when this when, when I first introduced this to the mayor, that, that, that um, uh, there was a lot of, um, shall we put it, uh, convincing to do. Uh, and. Uh, 
there was there was some level of compromise involved, and uh, I can say that you know I'm happy that the mayor agreed to moving forward with the cycling network. What so was was Jarvis the kind of sacrificing lamb in that sense? Then? I, well, I, I you know the Jarvis did come up in the discussion, and it, and and obviously it was part of the the bikeway uh, network plan that went to council, and so it was all part of the package. So you'll what be removing Jarvis by the end of the year. Is that Pardon the idea? Me? By the end of the year, you'll be removing Jarvis. Uh, if all goes according to plan, yes. So can you just refresh your memory on that timeline again? So it's next month that it will be taken in, in November? Well, you know, I, it's very difficult to predict and know for certain in any construction project, knowing how the city works, when something's actually going to finish. Um, but I, but I, uh, the plan is to have uh, Sherburn finished by November, meaning the terms of the previous council decision, and after that, uh, the, the removal of the bikeways will take place. What does this vote say about the mayor's control of council? There's been a lot written about him not having control of council. Um, well, I mean, this, you know, this, this, this item certainly wasn't a slam dunk. Um, we certainly had to, I mean, I certainly had to uh, uh, talk to a number of councillors and work with the vote, if you will. Um, and, you know, for me, I just take it council by council. How much help did the mayor give you in working the vote? Um, well, uh, the mayor's office did provide some assistance, um, it, it, as he does. I mean, he, he, he had, you have to understand that, that the mayor supported the bikeway plan and that the mayor supports spending $43 million over the next five years. So he supported the entire package, and as part of that package, he supported this. And I, the mayor's office, uh, I think, spent some time uh, working on this because they wanted to see the bikeway plan move forward, as did I. Is it fair to say that you lined up the votes here today? Um, I think it's fair to say that a, that a lot of people worked hard. Um, I, I definitely did work with a number of councillors, and uh, 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 you know, some councillors spend less time on this than other councillors. And and you know, I had to I had to speak with them about what we were actually doing. You know, the the idea of the, that one block between Trump and King not not proceeding forward, and then then. Um, you know, one of the pieces of feedback that I got was there was a level of concern as it related to where the money was coming from the cycling infrastructure budget to move Jarvis, and we and I put that motion forward as a compromise so that it would be more that it would be more accepting to uh, to members of council. So the, we all work together. The, the, the Twitter verse is on fire. There's a group of people behind you who said things are going away. Can you tell us one more time at the end of the day why they were doing this? This was the right. Well, it was a reaffirmation of the decision. But the decision today was to put in a cycle track, great decision for cyclists, and to remove Jarvis. It, uh, we were council decided to remove Jarvis because we because council decided. Well, members of council have different views, but the reality is is, is that Jarvis is an important north south arterial road, and we're trying to uh, ease congestion and trying to address the. And why is it good for cyclists? Uh, so this is good for cyclists because you're going to have a brand new cycle track, the first one in the city. It's going to make it safer and better for them. Uh, there are still concerns uh, when there's about other bike lanes, uh, DuPont bike lane in particular. What guarantee can you give to, to cyclists in Toronto that there will be no more bike lanes coming from this? Um, Councillor Bylon and Councillor Platts here had some level of concern with regard to those bike lanes. Um, I think we're, we, we may be looking at doing some environmental assessments and looking at options. Uh, my preference isn't to remove uh, those lanes if, if we don't have to, but we have to identify what the issues are, find out what the local councillors have to say. And you know, and, and look at ways where where we can move traffic better and try to accommodate the cycling community. Councilor 